Hello guys, today is going to be a non-shaving shaving video. Um, I've decided I need to tidy up some of my stuff and James is downstairs watching television so I have about an hour's time. So I'll try to make this as short as possible. Yes, I'm up in the bedroom and please don't look at the mess because <laughs> I have quite a bit of mess around. Um, I just wanted to show you out the windows, yes, and I block the windows in the summer. Um, that's what the cardboard's for, so that it gets super hot in here. So if you see cardboard and stuff lying around, it's because I block the windows in the summer. I let, leave the windows open, but block the windows with the cardboard. Anyway, let me just show you. This is, as you know, look at this. I've these are the, the razors that I have. This is the drawer my soap comes in. Um, this is the drawer I keep my soaps in and a few jars. So I just wanted to show you the abomination of next door. Look at that. <laughs> so now you know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> That's the abomination and they can look right into my bedroom windows That's another reason why I'm now putting cardboards in front of my window because in the summer I don't always want to have all the curtains drawn. I want to have that bit of light at the top uh, If I show it to you like right like this I want to have a bit of light at the top, but I don't want to have I don't want to have the um windows the, the blinds closed all the time so there you go right now let's get to what I'm going to be showing you is I want to be showing you go through some of the soaps and then put them away and then I don't know if I'm going to do a second uh, video on the razors I have actually one razor missing um, right now and the others going and the leaf is actually going on a loan so um, those won't be shown but maybe I'll get round to it so let me just quickly spin the camera hope I don't make you seasick onto the bed I've just spread out a sheet over the top um, and let's start with this is my stockpile here the Erasmic very cheap um, glycerin soap but I quite like the scent it comes close to the um, 4711 Kölschwasser then obviously the palm olive I've sold quite a few of those because I was in a tight spot and I needed to exchange that needed the money to buy something else I still have a few Wilkinson swords as you see, I have six of those, uh, and I'm not going to be selling those. Um, actually, I have seven. One is started in the bathroom. Same as the palm olive, I actually have three, because one's also still in the bathroom. Boot sticks, I have these three full ones, and one started one in the bathroom. So that's all on the Dick side of UK I thought I'd go through countries as you know here we go we have Trufferton Hill 1805 I featured that in a video sh a, uh, a little while ago I have Mitchell's this is the one out the bathroom I have the tub and a refill as you see, I still have got quite a bit left of the Mitchells. I tried to save it. It is the first soap I bought and I love it. That's what I learned shaving with. Taylor of Bond Street. I have here the Platinum Collection and I have a sample of the Platinum Cream and a sample of the number 50. Castle and Forbes, I just did a video on that recently. Check and Speak, number 88, fabulous soap, also done a review on that one. Let me just quickly go over here. Eucris, G GOF Trumper, and the Barbershop Scent, um, sorry I got it upside down, Trumpers, Officers and Gentlemen, love this one as well. Then 
I'll just quickly swing across here because I have my two Windsors, the Windsor um, refill in the shaving bowl, that's uh, D.R. Harris and the Marlborough, which is also a refill in the box. Uh, both have been used and reviewed also on the channel. Then I have a tiny selection left from executive shaving that's these little three here and with my writing on there it's most probably not very readable is bay rum my absolute favorite natural which is also a favorite citrus kiss unfortunately i do not have any more that's finished but i loved it a lot and then i have two of the fuach snog which is the mentholated one. Not my absolute favorite, but it's nice for the legs. Right, and then I'll just skip over to the Wiccans. I have three full tubs. That's the Scottish Heather, Russian Leather, Shangri-La. Then I have a bigger sample of the Shamrock Tweed. All of these I have already done a video on. I think on most of those, these actually. Then I have samples of Wickham's uh, Magnum, Classic 24, Palmer Violet, English Rose and Cashmere. Love them all. Then I have the very small company Oatcake and my two favourites here is Overgrowth and Mahogany. I have... At some stage, once I've used up some of these soaps, I will finally get round to getting um, a little set, a proper little set, um, because they are fabulous soaps, and I just haven't got the space right now. So now let's just screen over to Phoenix and Bow, Night Witch, I've done a video on that, called it Witchy Woman, the Sanskrit, absolutely fabulous this sandalwood scent is one of the best i've smelt and here that's achilles last stand that's a full tub as well and they have sent me carrier sent me the new unscented sovereign base it's a tallow base new sovereign which i have not tried out but i will do so most probably later today and just do an asmr shave with that so I've not tried this at all. And it's a very generous sample. It's a big sample. So, and I have the ingredients. They sent me the ingredients and it just reads like a lexicon of loveliness. Right, now let's just go over here. Signature soaps, you know, are one of my favorites. I have quite a few of those. Valencia. Britannia I did a, a video on uh, Valencia's coming up I'm doing another review on this or I'm doing another shave with this very soon um, I have done one before Leodis Londinium and the Vectis these are all Cropes all vegan essential oils fabulous these are the hybrid ones I haven't got any of his glycerin ones so now let's just move across to the international little uh, la gathering here. And this is the only sample I have. This is Katie's Bubbles and it's the Gardenia. I absolutely love this. You can't get this anymore. And I'm so sad you can't get this anymore. Then I have here Spike. I have the shaving stick refills. This one came out the bathroom. So this one's actually a used one. And then I have two more, a travel one and the refill for the travel. And I have here the tub of Spike. This is a more cologne scent, um, which I also like a lot. I had two tubs, but I had to sell one. Then I have the next German one, which is Klarseifen. I have made a review. This is the lady scent. They have three more. This is the Lotus and Ginger. Great soap, but you've got to get used to it. It's a glycerin soap and it's quite something else to get a really good lather with this, but it has super slip. Then we have the Hustlinger. I have three, which is the Sage, which is the Calendula or 
marigold in English, and then the sheep's milk. All three fantastic soaps, fantastic um, post chafe, but you've got to treat it like the wool fat from Mitchell's. They're a bit difficult to lather straight off. So these like warm water. This is a different reason why it's difficult to lather. It just doesn't keep its lather that very well in the beginning. There's a trick to this as well. Then I have, let's just pan over here again. I have the cella, which I don't use that often and I don't know why, most probably because I associate it with Christmas and only use it in the winter months. Pro Rosso Wood and Spice, my absolute favorite. None of the other scents come close. Uh, Pro Rosso Wood, um, Pro Rosso scents. To me, nothing comes close to the Wood and Spice. Then we have here two samples of Saponico Varesino. One is the Myrrh and one is the Black Dolomiti, both of which I have already also done a video with. I'm not sure whether I've done the Wood and Spice one. Not sure. Then I have here the Lea. I have still a full pack and a refill. And then in here is my started one. If I can get it open. Oh, wait, hang on, I need to plant this down, I'm sorry. Have a look at the cella in the meantime. There, you see, that's, I put, this was an old Erasmic tub. I've reused that to put it in. I used to have this in the Mrs. jug, but it was starting to get too hard and lose its scent, so I've put it into a tub. Uh, then, of course, tabac, my favourite tabac. Um, it is the same base as fine, but fine is very hard to get. Tabak is easier to get here in the UK. This is the one out the bathroom, so I'll put this aside, not that I start mixing them up. Um, so tabak actually belongs to the German circle. And then I have here to the little Mediterranean circle, of course, my La Toja. This is the only one I have, and this is a started one also out the bathroom. I love this. Also, not so easy to get here. Then I have done a video already on the two Finnish soaps, the Nordic Shaving Company um, Lilac. Scent-wise, it's, it's a 12, that one. And then we have here the Birch. That scent is also quite strong. Both of them lovely soaps. And now we'll move over a bit more to the sterling over here that you can see. I have to walk around the bed, I'm sorry. Um, so actually Katie's Bubbles should be in the US section. I have here my only Razor Rock and that's Irish Countryside. Also sold one of these. I had two. This is a used one from the bathroom. Put that over to the bathroom stuff, not that I mix it up. And then, oh, I'm sorry, my back is starting to hurt. So I have here the English, English, the pre-shave soap, Sterling pre-shave soap, which I've only just started using, is fabulous, works very well. Then I have here the Sterling Spice little sample, and that is a phenomenal scent at the moment. They're sold out here completely. I can't even get um, a, um, an ounce sample. It's, there, it's just not available right now. But that is one I'm definitely going to rebuy in the full size. Then I have here um, Pharaoh's Dreamsicle. Also a very nice one. I've done a video on this. And this one is Red Delicious, an apple scent, which is very sweet. You need to be a real fruit lover. I think I need to try this a few more times to appreciate, actually, its scent um, a lot more. Because the first thing that I noticed was that it was quite sweet. Right, then I have here, none of these have been featured yet, Tuscany. I have the vanilla sandalwood, Ben Franklin, Scott's, Pi Scott's Pine Sheep, which is a um, 
what's it called? Mutton tallow, nearly got it, didn't get it right. Almond cream, very gentle in scent. Um, I have had a good sniff at this. I'm thinking of mixing this with something else um, because it's very, very gentle. But this is a great base to mix with something else. Port-au-Prince, Queen of Hearts, Hipster, and another Swedish one, Evie, Black Cherry, and Arcadia. Right, turn it round. So guys, that, that is my entire collection. As you see, it, it is a lot and it isn't a lot, depending on what you like and what you don't and how much space you've got. But this is about just as much space as this drawer will take. So <laughs> I will tidy those up now and get them into my drawer and then see if, and then hope that I can get the razors on in as well. So, see you in a minute. I only, I only have three splash, uh, three after shave balms and or splashes. That's the Boots one, the Freshwood, which I absolutely love. It's actually all sold out, same as the Boots stick is sold out at the moment. You can't get any. Um, then the Kölschwasser and the Gentleman's Pride. That's all I have on that end. So, on the on the smelly post end. <laughs> so now my razors and I will start off with the lesser ones but still loved and many people will go boo and don't remember and remember I said there are two missing that's the leaf and the Rockwell 6s is also missing which um, well aren't here at the moment. So, right, now you know this one. I have featured this one a little, quite a little bit. Yes, and it's a bit manky because I've been using it here. That's got actually my name inscribed, and that's a cartridge. Boo! But I must say, I like this metal handle, soft grip, ergonomic, has a nice weight to it, six blades, and there are my refills. And I have that in three colours. I have it in the lily colour. This is the rose gold, as you can see. That's the lily with its own blades. And then I have here the silvia, which is silver on the top. These aren't engraved. And also, so that's those. And then I have as a backup... If anything goes wrong, I have here, I think it's the Hydro 5. I think it's called the Hydro 5 from Wilkinson. I also quite like that one with its cover and its carts. Um, so I've had these for quite a while. These I've had for over a year and this one I've had as a backup, I don't know, for the last Mm, four years maybe I haven't used it yet but I did have one prior to that that I did use um, prior to getting into the DE blades now just let me pause here for a tiny second to go to the S now I'm going to go to the SE and the straights and shavettes so I have here the Blackland Vector you've seen me make videos with this this is my absolutely favorite SE I had a supply as well and an above the tie um, SE which I also sold because this one is just way more nimble and a lot nicer from that point of view so and I use the Kai pink blades in this one and I will be soon trying out the feather light because the feather normals the pros I did not like they were a bit too rough for me right now here's my straights you've seen this one my practice straight the Cyril and Salter that's a half hollow um, five eighths straight works fabulously. This is the Burka stainless 
five eighths extra hollow. Then my Berka Chevette. That's the olive wood Chevette with, oh, I don't even know what's in here. I can't remember. I'd have to pull it out and see. So that's the Chevette. And this is my honing um, chalk. Let's call it chalk because I don't know what it's called. Um, I have in here, let me just move over across, I keep them in this drawer and here I have my honing blocks, this is a flattening block, this is my 12k and this one down here is a um, 6,000, 8,000 honing block and I have a strop, sorry let me just move across here in the drawer here is my strop I have on this side the chalk it's just a very cheap strop right so now done those let's move across the DE razors I have here the Razor Rock Lupo in gold I haven't featured that yet is coming up very soon this I have featured this is the above the tie um, Calypso, uh, full aluminium, same as the Rockwell is an aluminium. Um, this is on the M1 plate, so super, super mild, which I do love at some stages. I like mild ones as well. This is the Seychus, Seychus Zeppelin. This is um, a stainless and it's the version 2. And on this one I have a 0.5 side, millimeter side, and on this side a 0.7 millimeter. So um, you can almost call it an adjustable, but it isn't. There is now a different cap that does 0.7 and 0.9. Um, too much for me. So that's the Sejo Zeppelin, which comes in its little pouch here. Then I'll go over to the... Uh, UK DE razors. This is my full brass. You've seen me feature this a few times. Really cheap, really good. Not a great finish, but it's a fantastic razor. Mid range razor. This is the Big Beastie. Um, this is the Big Beastie. This has quite a big blade gap. This is a mid to very effective razor has also a longer handle which I quite like um, I haven't tried screwing the handles onto anything else maybe I should because I really love this weight and the grip of this one and the length of it you've seen me use this one this is the Hilari my very first razor I bought um, that's vintage style twist to open this one all these are three pieces. This is the Edwin Jagger. You saw me this use, use it lately on one of my videos. There's also a three piece. This is the 3D Edwin Jagger. Then we go over to, let's call them the Chinese ones, because I'm guessing they're made in China. You've seen me use this. This is the Gillette Tech um, reproduction head except for it has no overhang, so it's a bit wider, um, not wider, longer in the head, and it has the long handle. This is the stainless steel version. There are others available that are a bit cheaper and also not quite as durable. This is the Bailey. Right, and then we have here from West Coast Shaving, although I did not get mine from West Coast Shaving. I got it from a private seller. This is the Iridium. Um, what titanium iridium something like that they call it it's a three piece as well it's a very effective razor this one um, and it's multicolor I quite like this one um, it's a mid too aggressive that one actually and now to my adjustables this is the Vikings Blade Crusader normally I don't like branding on the top of a um, razor cap but this one has it I like the rose gold has a fantastic grip 
it's a twist to open and it's adjustable seamlessly adjustable so there are no numbers you've seen seen this on some of my videos i absolutely love this no problems with this one at all people complain a lot about the quality of the other ones i think this was their or one of their original ones and it's still in great it is great condition great quality this one so I don't know, maybe the others have been remade in China or something. I do not know. This is the Yintao um, adjustable, also very similar in the handle here, but um, fabulous. This has quite a wide aggression, so you can also twist to open as you can see had this for over a year no problems with its quality either this is a brass handle coated and I've not had any problems with it either um, this one is the Mercure Progress very well known for its lining up here on the side the triangle with the slot and with its nine um, spots spots no, you know, nine blade gaps. There you go. Marco Progress. Fabulous razor. And then my vintage Gillette. That's the Gillette Slim Twist. Um, 1962. Yes, 62. Um, with nine settings which is actually slightly more aggressive than the Merco progress would you believe it um in the end <laughs> so that's an h3 so that's the only vintage one i possess and as i say the leaf is missing and the rockwell rockwell 6c so there you go that's all i have